Hi, submarine friends. Because I have a mental medical condition called I get bored itis, that's a condition that I coined myself, which means that I can only work on a certain part of a project for so long. Well, I'm kind of tired of welding, cutting, fabricating, welding, and cutting some more. So I'm taking a break from that part. The variable ballast tank is essentially done. The mount for the air supply is done. Uh, the propeller drive is on, etc., etc. So I can take a break from that and feel comfortable. So what I'm going to work on now, which is actually the fun part for me, I have to marry this compressor to that engine and that, and you can't see it, but I have a hydraulic pump and tank over there that has to be married to this engine. So the way I'm going to do this, I have another hull section outside from this tank, which will be welded on at a later date, once I don't need such great access. So I'm going to take that hull section and set it up in the shop, and I'm going to mock all of this up in that short section because it's really easy to work on it then. Everything will just fit into place and I can mock it all up right there. Once it's all put together and ready to install in the sub, then I can pull the submarine hull out and I can slide the whole pre-made assembly in in one piece. Then I can mark out where I want all my hull penetrators, like for the hydraulic fluid to go through, uh, the electric penetrators, the air penetrator. So all that can be put in once I have this in place, because the last thing you want to do is put all those penetration points in and then put the engine in and find out that the hull penetration is in a poorly located spot. I mean, if you did CAD designs on the whole thing, you could eliminate that, but I don't know how to drive a computer well enough to do all that. So I do it old school and I just build it as it needs to be built. And I just pencil, paper, sketches, and away I go. So the pump is actually going to drive off the engine similar to the blades on a lawnmower. It's not gonna have a clutch. It's not going to be permanently coupled. There will be a belt tensioner that releases and that just takes the, releases the pressure off the belt and the belt just sits there and does nothing. Same with the hydraulic pump. This way, you don't have parts that can fail, like the electric clutches can fail. So the best way to avoid that is don't have one. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm gonna to start up the diesel engine, make sure that nothing's gone wrong with it while it's been sitting for the last year or so. And uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. And then I'll get ready taking it off that chassis. I actually had that chassis built for another project. No longer works, so all that's coming off, the rad's coming off, the fan's coming off, and uh, it's gonna be shrunk down in size. So that's what I'm doing, starting tomorrow. Today is over. Ciao.